Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have a list of top 10 anime where the main character has overpower abilities but can't control it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and if you are new, please subscribe to our channel. So without any further delay, let's begin. Number 10. Black and White Warriors This is a story about two young demons who are always slacking off at work. A place that happens to be an organization that vows to keep the balance between the worlds of the living and dead by killing humans. Number 9. Cerberus Sword and magic rule in the continent of Klinan, also residing there, is the feared evil dragon Targonzord, an unstoppable force that leaves nothing but scorched lands and destruction wherever he goes. Hero's parents joined other sorcerers in the magic ritual ten years ago in an attempt to seal Targonzord, but failed when someone interfered. After being rescued by Giru, young Hero set out to learn swordsmanship so that he could avenge his parents. Number 8. Spirit Blade Mountain Long ago, in the ninth province of Kyushu, a calamitous event was prophesied to take place. Falling comets would exhaust the spiritual energies of both the heavens and the lands and thus bring about an age of chaos upon the world. But contrary to the prophecy, the comets passed by with no calamity taking place. At the same time, as if touched by the phenomenon, a boy was born in a remote village of the Soki region by the name of Origu. Twelve years later, and the memories of the event have faded from people's minds, the Reikenzang clan, one of the five supreme sects of the nine provinces, decides to hold an examination in order to gather the most talented individuals fit to become disciples and eventually sages. Hearing about the news, Oriku and his servant Awuchu head toward the site, unaware that the organizer Owu, despite her elegant appearance, is infamous for being extremely irresponsible and carefree hence making the trials and examination unpredictable. Number 7. Devil Survivor 2 – The Animation The countdown to extinction began on Sunday with the arrival of the Septentrions, otherworldly invaders set on the eradication of mankind. Caught in the crossfire, Hibiki Kuze and his friend joined in the war for humanity's survival by signing contracts with demons to become devil summoners. Soon, their abilities attract the attention of JPs, an underground agency led by Yamato Hudson. Once recruited in JPs, Hibiki and his friends fight and bond alongside other ordinary citizens who are devil summoners. However, with each new day, another Septentrion appeared to wreak havoc upon Japan. Even if many lives are lost in the process, before that night ends, the young summoners must defeat the invaders at all costs. Number 6. Twin Star Exorcist Mageno, a parallel realm filled with monsters known as Kagari, is a place where exorcists deal with all impurities. Binyo Adashino is a prodigy exorcist who is recognized for her strength and is summoned to Tokyo by the Exorcist Union. On her way, she plummets into the arms of Rokuru, a young exorcist with a troubled past. But the impurities of Magano do not rest. When these two exorcists witness a couple of children stolen by a Kagari, Binyo rushes to save them, dragging Rokuru along with her into Magano. Engaged in a fight, she is on the verge of being defeated. Binyo is saved by the Rokuru, revealing himself capable of being her rival in talent. Twin Star Exorcists tell the story of two talented exorcists who are destined to become the Twin Star Exorcists and the prophesied parents of the Miko, the reincarnation of Abe no Seme, who will cleanse the world of all impurities. Number 5. Mushi Bugyo in feudal Japan, the people of Edo are under siege by giant insects that ravage the land. The people desperately beg the government to do something about it. Thus, the insect magistrate office is established, gathering strong warriors to defend against the onset of pests. Mushibugyo follows Jinbi Tsukishima, a young man striving to be a master swordsman like his father. To atone for a horrific incident that occurred at his fall, Jinbi seeks to take his father's place as a member of the insect magistrate straight office. On his journey there, he meets the lovely Haru, a young woman who helps manage her family's tea house and is forced to put his sword to good use in saving her from a grisly fate. This act of bravery that earns him a spot in the insect magistrate. Number 4. 
Bungo stray dogs. Kicked out of his orphanage and on the verge of starving to death, Nakajima Atsushi meets some strange men. One of them, Dezai Osamu, is a suicidal man attempting to drown himself in broad daylight. The other, best spectacular, Gunikida Dopo, nervously stands by flipping through a notepad. Both are members of the armed detective agency, said to solve incidents that even the military and police won't touch. Atsushi ends up accompanying them on a mission to eliminate a man-eating tiger that's been terrorizing the population. Number 3. Tuanu Kwan The story follows a boy named Kwan and his friends who are attractors. Attractors are human beings who have awakened and have supernatural powers. Juan is determined to save them all, but a secret organization is hunting them. Number 2. Beyond the Boundary Mirai Kuriyama is the sole survivor of a clan of spirit world warriors with the power to employ their blood as weapons. As such, Mirai is tasked with hunting down and killing Yomu, creatures said to be the manifestation of negative human emotions. One day, while deep in thought on the school roof, Mirai comes across Akihito Kanbara, a rare half-breed of Yomu in human form. In a panicked state, she plunges her blood saber into him, only to realize that he's an immortal being. From then on, the two form an impromptu friendship that revolves around Mirai constantly trying to kill Akihito. In an effort to boost her own wavering confidence as a spirit world warrior, eventually Akihito also manages to convince her to join the literary club, which houses two other powerful spirit world warriors, Hirumi and Mitsuki. As the group's bond strengthens, however, so does the tenacity of the Yomu around them. Number 1. Obari no Sera. With the appearance of a mysterious virus that kills everyone above the age of 13, mankind becomes enslaved by previously hidden power-hungry vampires who emerge in order to subjugate society with the promise of protecting the survivors in exchange for donations of their blood. Among these survivors are Yuichiro and Mikaela, two young boys who are taken captive from an orphanage, along with other children whom they consider family. Discontent with being treated like livestock under the vampire's cruel reign, Mikaela hatches a rebellious escape plan that is ultimately doomed to fail. The only survivor to come out on the other side is Yuichiro, who is found by the Moon Demon Company, a military unit dedicated to exterminating the vampires in Japan. Many years later, now a member of the Japanese Imperial Demon Army, Yuichiro, is determined to take revenge on the creatures that slaughtered his family. That's it for today's video. I hope you like it and please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, remember to hit the notification button for any more upcoming videos.